So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over three server slash home lab organizers. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. And so I'm Technodad Life, and what I do is I make technology simplified. So today what we're going to be doing is go over Muxy Mux, Himdale, and Organizer version 2. And so basically all three of these apps, what they do is they take our different dockers or things that are on our server, and they organize them in one page so they're easily accessible. And so out of these, so Muxy Mux, Muxy Mux, is the simplest and has the least features. Heimdale is sort of in the middle and then Organizer version 2 has the most features. So let's take a look at these. So Muximux comes with different tiles pre-installed. Uh, these are not actually attached to things but these are just some of them. The ones I added were OMV, Kodi, Piwigo, PhotoShow, and File Browser. So Let's take a look at these. So if we go here, click on Kodi, so it opens up Kodi in what they call an iframe. So then up above, we can click back and forth between the other things. But if we go to OMV, it does not work. And so OMV doesn't seem to work on any of the programs in iframes, and so it has to it has to be started in a separate browser tab. Muxy Mux does not do that though. So if we go up to the right hand corner here, you can see there's the home button. That will take us back to this page. If we go down to the bottom left, we have two things. We have our logs and then we have our settings. So the settings for Muxy Mux are pretty simple. They have the least amount of settings. They're very hard to mess up. So it's just the name of the program, the URL to find it, the icon, and enabled landing dropdown or default. And Muxy Mux has the most sort of glitches in it when I used it. So just to be aware of that. So let's click on Pido. And so it should go to the Pido page, but it doesn't. It doesn't go to Sonar. It does go to, or it does go to Sonar. It does not go to Plex. Headphones doesn't go to Glances. It does. So for some reason, it does work with certain pages, but not other pages. And if you know why, leave a comment down in the directions or in the comments below. So if we go up to the top right corner, click on Settings, it takes us back to the Settings page. And so let's add one more in here. So I, we're going to add in Jellyfin since I have it up on the browser there. So you click Add New, type in your name, go to Jellyfin, copy your address, paste the URL there, pick out an icon. The other thing with Muxymux is you can't add icons as far as I can tell. So you just have to pick one of the ones that they give you. So let's just pick one. And then once you've done that, click Save and Reload. And now you can see Jellyfin is there. And so let's click on Jellyfin, see if it loads. So I, I don't know if this is going to load because I haven't tried this before. I, in particular, left this just to see what would happen. Okay, we click on it, and Jellyfin does load. And so that's about it for Muxymux. That's about all you can do. And so let's take a look at Heimdale next, which is sort of in between. So Muxymux is the uh, easiest to use. Heimdale is also easy to use, but has a little more features. And then, uh, and then the more complicated one is Organizer version 2. So here you can see I added our uh, different tabs already. And if you click on them, with Heimdall, it always just opens up a new tab. Uh, 
Now with Heimdall, you do have a couple other features, so you can change the background picture, which I've done. And let's see how we add a tab also. So if we go down to the bottom right here, uh, you have a couple of different tabs. So basically, let's start at the bottom. We click on that, we can change our menus uh, here in the middle. This is how you add a background picture. Also, you can change search values. So we can add search, and that will be on the home page. And we can set a search provider. And so then directly from our home page, we have search. So click over there. And so we type in Technodad Life and search. And there comes up our search in a new window. The next icon is to tag something. I don't really understand the purpose for this. And the three lines there, this is how you actually add, this is how you actually add a new tab in. So let's add in Jellyfin. So we go right here to where it says add. We click on that. We type in Jellyfin. Jellyfin comes up, and so it's one of the predefined tabs in this program, so we just leave it as is. We add in our URL. Uh, one important thing, too, is if you want to upload or change the image that goes with the tab, you can upload a file here and pick whatever you want, open it, and then it will automatically be in here. Next, what you would do is click Test. And here it says it successfully communicated. Then click Save down at the bottom. And now we have a Jellyfin tab. And it says Item Successfully Created. We click on Jellyfin. And it takes us to the Jellyfin page. The one other thing with Heimdall is you can add users. Uh, I don't really need to do that because I'm the only user. Now let's go to Organizer version 2, uh, which is the most complicated of these. And so with Organizer, you can customize lots of different things. So here I have set uh, so that it shows my local weather on Startup. But if you click on Settings, you can see here we have lots of different settings that we can work on. But first, let's add in Jellyfin. So you click on Tab Editor. Click on the plus sign right here. Type in a name. Copy your URL again. Paste that there. Go down to Choose Image. And find the Jellyfin image. And then click Test Tab. And then it says Tab can be set as iframe. So iframe just means that this web page will show inside of the organizer uh, page. Then go down to the bottom right, click Add Tab. And you can see it's already set to iframe. And if you notice over here, it doesn't show up. And you would think pressing on this would make it show up but it does not. And what you actually have to do is go up to the web page and refresh it. And now you can see Jellyfin is there, and we press on it. And it shows up in our Jellyfin page. If we click X, we go back to the settings page. If we go back to tab editor and say we want Jellyfin to be one of the first things we see, we can push that all the way up to the top or close to the top. And again, we have to refresh the page. And now you can see Jellyfin is up here. Now, before I forget, if we go down to OMB, we click on that. And you can see that doesn't stay in the frame. So that's not an iframe. It opens up a new tab. Now, you can add things to the home page, but it's actually very limited. Uh, I don't see a way of actually adding more things, but just some things like monitor 
you know, radar, sonar, LIDAR, transmission that some people would like, but obviously none of the things that I actually picked installed are actually on this list. And then you can organize them on the page by dragging and dropping these different things around. Now if we click on customization, we can change basically everything about this. So right now I have the logo instead of the title, so that's right there. Uh, you can change the title page, change how the login page looks, different options, colors and themes, basically all sorts of different things. User management. Now image manager. So this was actually one of my little frustrations with this, and I don't know why they do this this way, but let's take a look at this. So how we add an image is we click on this green button over here, and then we can drag a drop uh, image in here. And so here you see I had to do it for OMB, and I did it for Photo Show also. Why is this a frustration to me? So I'll give you an example. So if we click on Tab Editor, go to Tabs, we add in something and say it's like, it's called Photo Tube 2. We give it a URL and then we go down to Choose Image. And there is no Photo 2 on here. So how do we add an image for this tab? Well, actually we have to close that and go to Image Manager, add in the image, then save it and then go back to Tab Editor, go back to our tab, and then it, the image will be here now. Whereas with Himdal, you just click on the Add Image button that's right there, and it just adds the image. So it's sort of a little messy way of doing things that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, after Image Manager, there's plugins. There's actually only two plugins, Test Plugin and Nginx. And then we have, go back to system settings. So which one of these is the best one? Well, I would say that Muxy Mux is probably off the table right now because it doesn't work very well and it's too simple for me. With Organizer, I like how that it uses the frames, the iframes, and it has programs, most programs, come up in the iframes and so then you can just go back and forth be th between things without opening up new tabs. But not everything works that way, so, so you have sort of this combination way of doing things, which doesn't make much sense. And plus, it's a little more complicated than I think it needs to be. Himdal is a good balance between those two things, because uh, you can add images easily, you can add different things. It doesn't have iframes in it, but it's consistent and opens everything up in a new tab. So which one is the best one for you? Well, it depends on your circumstances. Uh, I still haven't decided yet, but it's definitely going to be either Organizer or Himdal. Uh, why I want to do this is because uh, if I move overseas, then I have an easy sort of one-stop shop to get to all my different dockers and processes and my server all on one web page. So that's it for today. Uh, if you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.